Okay, you also. It's a collective suicide. Okay, they all died, all of them. Did you survive? So they all died, they all believed into that redemption, that possible redemption, and in fact, no, can't be. Eight years! Oh, that's a lot! Eight years? I told you I didn't know for the time jump, I didn't read any spoilers. No, you're not convincing anymore. And they are doing the, doing the things that haters can do, you know, to book seats and to not count. Yeah. None of them, none of you is better than the other one, like me. The Kurt likes the arrowhead. No, I think that you didn't want for people to know that you were there. And now we're gonna have the government involved. It seems to be a mess outside. And you prefer new truths to do it? At least they are more organized. Mm. Come on, let's be honest. What do you refer? Oh, for you it's not just for your country to not be a mess anymore, there will be something else, no? Not you. Like whom? Mm -hmm. Okay, you know. You want for new truth to talk about it, to reveal it? Mm 
Right there, you're keeping up right there on by yourself. I was so not like the chairman, she came back? What did she see? Um, Ah, so you thought about it, about choosing her also. <laughs> Clearly. You want to use her, but by saying the truth? Like you, an alliance. You need to create yes, a new doctrine. Six months? She let you know choice, like it was not even a question that she asked. You're just afraid of them saying something different, but you should be afraid of all of them coming back. Would you kill the ones who would come back to life? They would believe him more. I don't want to eliminate him. So now he's gonna be someone that we're gonna want to protect, like those of you were. I want to have news about him, but for you to search for me. Are really talking to yourself? She's with the arrow head now? Oh wow! Oh yes, I have the pierce and all. On that, it doesn't seem to help. Like, uh, did you see her? Mentally, she's. Uh... And because of that, physically, also, she's not uh, that one. Ah, okay. Okay, this first episode is a good introduction to all of what we have to deal with. <laughs> like, Sorry, I'm thinking. Okay, so 
maybe they can all come back, you know, all of the ones who were taken by these creatures. Maybe, in fact, they can all come back. Why only the first girl, you know, and the chairman? Why only both of them, they would come back? Maybe everyone can come back at some point after living that weird experience in afterlife. Maybe they all lived some things. Maybe it was not the same experience. Like right there for the chairman, it was to take the place of different persons that he, he met during his life. His dad was violent with him and with his mom. That guy with whom his mom ran away, that guy that he killed, he, he visited traumatic experiences for him. Like, you know, the third one, it's not really a traumatic experience for himself. Nothing related to a sin that he committed, except maybe for the third one. Oh, I don't know the meaning, you know, behind why he visited these three moments of his life two traumatic experiences and then one traumatic experience that he provoked. Maybe it's more something like that. No matter what, he came back to life like she did before him, meaning for me that they all can do it at some point. I thought that maybe it could be related to not when they died, you know, for the chronology of when they're gonna reappear. I was like, okay, maybe it's about when they disappeared, you know, they were killed. Maybe not, you know, maybe it's related to when they had their decree, but him, he had it 20 years ago, so no, in fact, it can't be like that. Maybe there is no real logic behind why these two ones are reappearing right now, you know, the order when these guys could reappear, if they would reappear. It's not certain for now that they can all reappear at some point. But we have to consider it to imagine that it can be. Something also which is important in that question about why the baby survived. Did he survive because the parents were around him so the creatures couldn't have access to the baby? No, it was proven during this episode that it's not functioning like that because all of these persons chose to give their lives to, to prove that it could happen like that and in fact it didn't happen, they all died. Miss Sunshine, like all of the other ones, like the sinner. So clearly it's not because of that, it's not because they couldn't have access to the baby. Is it because of the fact that the, the creatures accepted the parents' sacrifice? The other ones, they sacrificed themselves also, but maybe their sacrifice were not coming really from their heart, you know, from love. It was, I don't know how to say it, a sacrifice dictated by their faith, but not really by love. We still need to have answers about why right there this baby survived, why the creatures accepted the parents' sacrifice, what happened right there. It's really cool to have a time jump, an eight years time jump, to understand that the Arrowhead organization took more and more place and created chaos so much that now the cult new truth is not convincing anymore and they really have trouble to just continue to exist because they are attacked themselves by the Arrowhead in streets, you know, directly, but also with everything. Okay, that's really interesting. And also, like really, this episode is a presentation of what this season is going to be about. All of these questions that we're still going to have to answer too, but also the fact that the chairman is back. But in fact, the court is not going to want for the chairman to, to have his seat back, because with their actual position, you know, into the society, they are really weak. They made that deal with the government about, okay, the government is going to help new truths to come back at the best because we still need an organized society. So because of the girl who came back, you're going to use her to create a new doctrine for people to follow you. Like that's it, you have something right there that you can use, someone that you can use. Let's do that. But first they need to find 
the policeman so they can find where the chairman's rest remains. But in fact, they're going to discover that though he came back to, to life, but you won't really eliminate him. That's really going to be something, you know, this season we're going to have the arrowhead going crazy and provoking chaos everywhere. We're going to have new truth and the government working together to find the policeman, then to find the chairman. We know that the chairman is alive, so we're going to continue to follow him. He's going to try to hide, he's going to try to show himself, but in a different way, you know, to the world. Did it change truly what happened to him? The fact that her, when she came back during entire years, she couldn't talk and now she can talk, but she doesn't know truly things like um, she went a little crazy. What does it mean for him, the chairman? Can he talk? Uh, does he know who he is? Does he know what happened to him? You know, what we saw? Does he remember it? What? Is he gonna want to do with that now? Did he change? Maybe. And for sure the policeman were gonna want to, to follow him to, to see what happened to him during all of that time. His daughter oh, is really, I don't know how to say it, mentally sick apparently and she's taking a lot of pills to try to help her but it's not enough. She has crisis oh, and she's really, yes, into a bad bad shape right now and apparently she's more into the arrowhead side than the new true side than just the normal people side <laughs> it was a good introduction to the entire season that episode truly to remind us everything that happened to tell us the new context to answer to some things but in fact by that to remind us the main questions that we have about these creatures about why does the baby survived, all of that. And what we're gonna do now, like, um, we know what we can expect for the season, but also we have a lot of interrogation points about how is it gonna work for the chairman, for that alliance, new truth and the government, for the arrowhead, what are they gonna do now? For our guy, you know, the policeman, how is he gonna be involved into all of that? For the chairman, what is he gonna do now? Can he do something now? It's cool, it's really cool. I appreciated that first episode. I was fully really into it. Did you see it? I was really like, okay, 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 okay. Like, I was fully really into it. And see what I said in the intro? Okay, it's a normal show because these creatures, they are terrifying, they are killing people and it's awful. But the main thing about this show, it's not these creatures, the whole aspect, it's really Talking about our societies, talking about humans, going deep with that kind of stuff. I love it, I love it so much. Okay, it's all for you and for me for this video. Remember that on my Patreon, you're gonna have one day of advance, you know, for these reaction videos for Airbond. You have two options. With the level two, you have a longer reaction part. And with the level three, you have the full reaction part, everything in full opacity. If you can be interested, to have these advantages and also to support me. Okay, it's all for you for this video and it's all for me for now, so bye for now. Bye. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Great. <laughs>